Hello, hello, and welcome to a new video. My name is Priti, and I am so excited that you are watching this video because this is a three-in-one video. Because essentially, in this video, um, there are three parts. Of course, there are. That's what a three-in-one video is. But uh, yeah, the first part is essentially me reading half of the book of shortlist. I've already read the other half in another vlog, which I will link you to. The second part is of me predicting who I think is going to be the booker winner as well as ranking the entire booker shortlist according to like my preferences and the third part of course is me just reacting to the booker prize winner um, which I have already watched and uh, yeah that's that's essentially the idea of this video now just to set some context in this video in the first half the vlog bit um, I start by reading uh, my name is Lucy Barton which is the prequel for a uh, uh, o. William, which is shortlisted for the booker. I also am reading Treacle Walker as well as The Trees by Percival Everett. But also, at the same point of time, I had to read another book which is called In Search of the Divine because I had to interview the author for an in-person event thing. So that was a fun time. And if in between I talk about that, that's because of that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, I had a really good time making this video um, and I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you watch the entire thing. However, in case you do not want to, I have put timestamps down where you can skip to certain parts in the video. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Um, I have to say for now um, I hope that you enjoy and if you did I do hope that you consider uh, subscribing to me as well as like hitting the bell icon and like thumbs upping it and all of that sort of stuff uh, but yeah that's 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 all I have to say for now um, go on to Smriti who is reading the books now okay happy Friday uh, not so happy for me because I have so much more to read in this book and I am interviewing the author tomorrow at 4 30 so ah it's okay I'll be fine I'll be okay but um in good news I have finished reading this one which is my name is Lucy Barton um which is not even the book that is long listed or short listed for the book so amazing progress here uh, however I want to talk to you about it very quickly before I start reading uh, the next one which is actually shortlisted for the booker which is O. William um, because I quite liked this book like I think that um, Elizabeth Stark I see why people say that her writing is so nice because um, she writes very simply like it's a very simple sort of book but through that simplicity she's conveyed so much about like her characters and like the atmosphere and like what they're feeling and all of that and I think that that's a really difficult thing to do uh, you know to be able to convey all of these different sort of things in like a really really simple way um, I just think that that was really well done um, it is very disjointed it's basically about um, Lucy Barton who is in a hospital uh, she went in for like a small surgery and then she had to stay there for like weeks on end and her husband um, who is William in this book uh, calls like her mother who she's been like estranged from after like she got married to William to come like sort of like be with her and her mother comes and stays like for five nights with her essentially um, and yeah we just get to see about like their relationships and the conversations that they have but we also get to understand like where Lucy's from and like all of that sort of stuff and she comes from like abject poverty like abject poverty like holy shit um and she hints at like abuse and stuff that she went through and all of that but like she doesn't really like talk about it in detail but like I was just like so taken by these people and her story and like all the things that she went through and it's not done in like a linear form we get like different different snippets of her life and through that we get this like whole story of sorts of this person's life and how they sort of react to things and like yeah um I enjoyed this one quite a bit actually I think I'm gonna give this like a four star because I wasn't like wowed I was wowed by as I said the simplicity of the writing and how she could do that but not like oh my god this is amazing you know what I mean um and I am 
about 40 pages into this one where we are essentially following the same people uh, a little later in life um, and we are following uh, her relationship with her husband her ex-husband now William um, and uh, yeah something is going to happen I guess I don't quite know but I will tell you my thoughts once I get into it but so far it's been similar in terms of like the going in and out of like telling you different snippets of like their lives and like stories and all of that sort of stuff so again it's not like really linear in any way so far at least but um, yeah let's uh let's see where uh we go from here that's all i have for now in terms of updates all right let us get to finishing this one first uh, then maybe more of this and then uh yeah all right good morning i have finished uh oh william by elizabeth Stout, and i thought it was fine like i'm probably gonna give this a three star to be honest and don't take that as like oh i didn't like this book i thought that this book was good however since i have just read this book which is my name is lucy barton i thought that this one was way better than this one maybe it's because i like the themes that were covered in this book which were like you know family and like your own personal relationship with like um how you grew up and how you build yourself and become a person in uh, a big city or like whatever like basically growth personal growth essentially right as well as like a relationship within uh with a mother and a daughter whereas this one was more about like family and uh, marriage and fidelity and like i don't know like introspection and all of that sort of stuff so i mean this was fine however i just i mean honestly i don't understand why this was shortlisted or even like longlisted because this seems like it's a good book, right? But I don't see this as like booker worthy. Like I don't see this as being a book that like, you know, like is shortlisted for a booker prize at least, you know? It seems very like cozy and like, oh, I just like curled up and read about these people's lives and like that's about it. But like, I don't know. I just, I didn't see... I, I don't get it. Um, also, there were parts of this book that really pissed me off because, like, they took the O. William thing and the O. thing just really to an extreme where, like, someone would tell someone, like, a deep, dark secret and then, like, they'll go, like, Oh, William. Oh, Lucy. Oh, William. Oh, Lucy. That I was just, like, the amount that I've heard O. Oh, William and O. Oh, Lucy and O. Oh, like, whatever, I, I was just, like, please stop. Please stop just god uh but yeah <laughs> overall this is okay it wasn't amazing but it was it was fine i thought that it was fine i would recommend that you read my name is lucy barton more than this one but cool i guess i don't know um next i am going to try to sit down and finish reading uh in the search of divine because I have my uh, conversation at 4.30 and then I'm going to probably read a Treacle Walker there because there is like a nice coffee shop in the bookstore so I'm going to probably like stay back and like finish Treacle Walker maybe hopefully there uh, and then come back to you with thoughts about Treacle Walker because I am honestly scared to read it. I don't know why but it's a little bit intimidating slash freaking me out so and I have finished reading Treacle Walker and I want to talk to you about it but before that I thought I'd just give you a quick update as to like how my day went yesterday so it went well uh, the event 
went off uh, well. I it was really good talking to Rana Safi, who is just like a really nice person, you know, but also just so like knowledgeable about like that field and like everything that she does. I mean, she spent six years writing this book. Um, so yeah, it was really cool and it was great having those conversations and meeting all of these different sort of people who would come to the event and all of that as well. Um, and also it was really funny. There was this one person who was there who just kept trying to like argue with Rana Safi about like Islam and Sufism and all of that sort of stuff and we were, I was just like can you please stop so like because he it's just like he was saying stuff because he's like and I believe that blah 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 and was trying to like contradict what like she was saying but I was like she spent six years writing this book and she's researched it you're just talking about my ass can you please shut up I don't know men have just like some crazy audacity I don't know but anyway, it was really fun and also it turns out that like it was Kitab Khana's first event post the pandemic uh, which was just really like surreal for me because like I have always been this person who's gone for these events but now I was like hosting the event so I was just like whoa, it just like, I don't know, it just hit me in my heart and in my head and I was just like oh this is this is it this is cool uh but yeah then after the event I sat at the cafe um and I read half of Treacle Walker um and, and then reread it of sorts because I was just like what's going on I need to start from like the start um and this book I finished it when I got home uh and then I had to like google like Trickle Walker explained and just like message a bunch of people who have also read Trickle Walker and being like, bro, what what was this end what was this book? Like and can someone please explain it to me? Like I um I have heard that like essentially this book uh, takes a lot from Alan Garner's like previous worlds and a lot of like um, mythology and like uh, folklore of a certain part of the UK so there are like you have to google a lot of things and I just wasn't in the mind space to google so I did google a few things and I did like find out a few things but like um, I guess I wasn't in the mind space to dwell further into it so I did get what it was trying to do and I, I appreciated it. It basically spoke about like time. I don't think I've told you what this book is about, have I? I have not, I think. Uh, but essentially we are following this boy, this young boy named Joe, um, who is living somewhere uh, in a house on his own. Um, and there's this guy who comes by whose name is Streakle Walker and he uh, sort of exchanges things with him. So like there's, he gives him something and that something gives him like these magical capabilities and stuff and like basically he goes on like these adventures and like it's a really short book uh, and it's really weird <laughs> and like there's physics involved and I didn't get the physics but like I, I don't know I was just like oh I, I think I kind of understand time and all of that is that physics but like yeah uh, it basically is a conversation about time um, and like a lot of different people have a lot of different like interpretations of this book and I guess that's the fun of it like just having having those different sort of interpretations and what you possibly think uh, this book was about but like I didn't care. <laughs> uh, I thought it was cool. I thought that Alan Garner has probably done a great job in terms of like writing it and and, and just being really weird and, and like yeah I, I appreciate the weirdness of it but also I just don't think that this sort of like literature is for me um <laughs> i don't like to be too confused i like to be confused but i don't like to be confused at the end of it i would ideally like some answers um so i don't know if that makes sense to you but like if you're a person who likes fantasy um if you're a person who likes to be like confused and just like what is going on um and it's a really short read so i also listened to it on scribd uh and the audiobook was really good like the narrator was really good so that was like a one hour 40 minutes uh like narration thingy and like i was listening to it on 1.8 to 2x so um that went by like it went by in an hour so i was like okay but i have to keep like going back and like rereading certain parts and just being like 
okay what is happening you know what i mean um so like even though the experience of reading this book was probably just like an hour hour and a half but like me sitting in this world was probably like 3 to 4 hours because after that i was just like what happened uh, <laughs> so yeah um i didn't quite appreciate it as much as i wanted to but is okay is all good um this is a book that everyone is saying is going to win the booker and i'm going to be a little upset if it wins the booker cuz i i don't think it was for me but it could be for you so well there we go that is trickle walker it's not as bad as i thought it would be but it ain't for me so there's that uh next i have started reading the trees uh by possible everett this is a book that i've been meaning to read for a while essentially the concept is that um we are following a bunch of people in this country called money mississippi not country city called money mississippi uh which is like money in mississippi I hope you understand what I mean. But anyway, point is, um, yeah, there are these murders that happen all of a sudden, and it's really, really weird because uh, this one guy gets murdered brutally, um, and his balls are chopped off, and then we see this black guy who is also there, who's also dead, um, and then <laughs> something weird happens, and like the same black guy is at another death. thingy which is happening so they're like what is happening because he's disappeared and reappeared and like it's just weird so then basically now they have called like these guys from the MBI <laughs> which is the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation like the FBI but like state wise i didn't know they had that but like maybe i don't know but yeah uh so an M- two people from the MBI have come down and like this is a very white town um and it seems like super racist um and uh, yeah these two black guys have come as investigators for uh, to figure out what has happened and it's weird i'm just like what's going on i <laughs> what's happening um i'm also listening to this on scribd uh so yeah that's that's cool so i'm listening to it as well as reading it um and it's an interesting experience so far so i just want to sit today and like finish it off so that i can uh maybe upload this by today or by tomorrow i don't know but yeah that's those are those be my thoughts right now and i don't know why firecrackers are going off in the background i don't know if you can hear them but it's weird like it's just like one random fire people are weird it's all good bye and we have finished reading the entire book of shortlist which is why i'm wearing this crown uh, tiara elf thing uh because i feel like i deserve it because i finished reading the trees by possible everett and i have to say that i really enjoyed it i thought that it was fun and funny and uh, smart and satirical and political which are all the things that are sort of like in a book um and yeah i thought that it was also like very well paced um i was sort of like speeding through it and i was also listening to the audiobook which was fun um and yeah i i sort of really liked all the things that it had to say about like race in america right now as well as like what it has been in the past and um i don't know if i mentioned emmett till i thought that emmett till would be like a thing that was just mentioned but turns out that emmett till was very integral to the plot uh which was very surprising to me but i don't want to um talk more about that because i feel like you should go into it with more like with no information because like i think that that really um heightened my experience uh while reading it so yeah i think that this book was uh good in a lot of ways however um i feel like i have realized through my reading of the shortlist uh that i don't like books that end in a way where i'm still questioning things and i'm confused as to what is happening because um the end of this book though it did answer some things it didn't answer some other things and it left off in this sort of interesting way <laughs> and i was like but what why uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um if you have read this book and have understood more than me then um 
please tell me down in like the comments or like message me on like Instagram or like email or like however you want to get in touch with me because I would love to discuss what that meant <laughs> was what what you know uh but yeah I mean I think that this book was good but I think for me my it's still not like excellent um I'm gonna give this a four star overall um and uh yeah that's I would recommend it but not like wholeheartedly if you know what I mean. By the way I have to say I have also been following the bookstagram community on um, the Booker Prize in general like they've been talking about the Booker Prize on Instagram um, and there is this one account called Sherry Reads I think um, and she's organized this thing called like there's this hashtag called the bookstagram reads the book or something um, and over there people have voted for who bookstagram thinks is going to be the winner and on that they thought that the trees is going to be the winner so that is interesting um I don't know a lot of people seem to have really enjoyed this book and think that this is going to win so that's exciting um I am now going to eat my burger however and then um come back to you with my thoughts for who I think is going to win. I don't know if you've been following me for a while. I think it's pretty obvious. But in case it's not, well, uh, I have a predictions thingy coming up right now after this clip. Um, I'm also probably going to be like ranking the books and stuff. So um, first food and then that. Okay. All right. So it's almost two o'clock, um, which is when the Booker Prize is going to be announced. So um, I just thought that I would quickly come here and do like a ranking of the shortlist as well as tell you what my predictions and my like hopes and dreams for the Booker Prize is. So um, I'm going to start from the bottom. So the sixth place uh, is actually kind of tough, but I'm going to go with O. William. Um, I thought that this book was fine. Um, it was good. It was very readable. It's a cozy sort of read and is well written. But um, also, I just didn't think that it was that uh, wow <laughs> in terms of a book itself. Um, so I'm just going to give it a like, it's, it's on the sixth place. Um, in the fifth place is this one, which is a Treacle Walker. Um, Treacle Walker, again, um, though I understood bits of it and like I thought that it was interesting in terms of the things that it was trying to do, etc. I, I don't think that this is a book for me um, and hence I like it's in the fifth place. For fourth place, we have Glory by No Violet Bulawayo. This is not a bad book by any stretch of imagination. I thought that it was quite well done. However, um, I thought that uh, it could have been better. Um, and in my eyes, it little bit disappointed. Um, I've spoken about it in greater detail in my other vlog, so I will link you to that. But yeah, that's, that's basically that. Um, in third place, we have The Trees by Percival Everett. This book was just extremely readable um, and did a really good job in making you think and and yeah I just thought that it was really also a fun book to read. Uh, so yeah I think that this book was good but overall it a uh, little bit like dropped in the rankings because um, in second place uh, it's gonna have to be uh, small things like these which I have the book with me but I don't know where it is but uh, small things like these even though when I first read it I thought that it was all right and I was like where is the flavor and all of that sort of stuff you can see me talking about it in the vlog um I think that book has stuck with me more um as the time has gone by and I think that like it did an amazing job in terms of like uh talking about people and things happening as well as like this overall like huge thing that was happening in the island um, and just brought light to it in this really simple uh, and short way which I thought was just remarkable for a person to do I just think that it's it's amazing that you can fit so much into like so little I think that that is um, a sign of truly talented person um and but my winner is and always will be uh the seven moons of mali almeida or chats with the dead as it is released in india um i absolutely love this book i have done an entire video uh talking about this book as to why i loved it and all of that sort of stuff so i will link you to that if you want but this is the winner in my eyes honestly i don't think that there is any other winner in my eyes for this uh 
price. I mean, this was the only one that I gave a five star to. Um, the others were all like four stars, 3.5 stars or three stars. So overall, honestly, in terms of like the shortlist, I was quite disappointed by it. I mean, I, I it's not like I was disappointed. I just wasn't wowed by it enough. And I think this was the only one that made me go, whoa, wow. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm really, really rooting for this one. I think that like it deserves to win. I think that I want it to win. I don't know. I just really want this to win. I was also talking to my friend yesterday and we realized that the last South Asian person to win uh, the Booker Prize was in 2008. Uh, so like high time, don't you think? And just, I'm just so pleased um, with this book and just like the brilliance of it. So, um, and I also think that Shehan is an absolutely stellar human being. So, I am just really excited uh, for this book to win. I just really want it to win. That's basically my thought process. So, uh, yeah, now we wait. <laughs> so, go on now to my reaction to the book of prize winner. Fingers crossed. Oh! To the dark oh my god, is it seven lives? Seven moons? Tenderness, laughter, loyalty, and love. Oh my god! The winner of the 2022 Booker Prize is the seven. Yes! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! And Mohammed Hani, whoever. Hello! Alright, so Chats to the Dead or Seven Moons of Mali All Made a One and I'm so, so, so happy and so excited. Um, honestly, I don't think that there could have been any other winner. This was just absolutely sublime for me. As I have said probably before, um, I have an entire video where I talk about this and talk about all the reasons why I love this book and why I think it is deserving to win and deserving to be read more than anything else. Um, I just think that it was absolutely sublime and amazing and I'm so happy for Shehan Karnatilika who won um, this like award um, and as I was saying like this this award hasn't been won by a South Asian author since like 2008 um, when White Tiger by Arvind Zadiga won. So just like high time that a South Asian won. It is fun, however, to also say that uh, South Asia has been dominating uh, the Booker Prize this year because the International Booker Prize was won by Tomb of Sand by Tanjali Shri, uh, which is translated by Daisy Rockwell. So like, I'm just so happy that like South Asia in general has been winning. And in particular, like Penguin India, <laughs> because both of them published uh, both of these books. So good on you, Penguin India. Um, I'm very happy for the authors, the translators, the editors, the writers. Um, just very excited for everyone um, involved. Now, before I go, I feel like I kind of need to talk about what happened in the award speech time because essentially what happened was that uh, Shehan Karnatilika was giving his like winner speech and then um, while he was talking about the um, <laughs> the people who lost their lives during the Sri Lankan civil war which was literally the whole point of this book right like they were the inspiration for this book as well um, the person cut him off off and said like hey we only have two minutes so can you just like go a little faster so seven moons of Mali Almeida it's it's about a murdered journalist um, and I was going to do it Percival Everett style I was gonna read the names of all the journalists the activists the politicians the civilians the innocents who have been murdered by the state or by those opposing it in my lifetime in Sri Lanka but if I had done that, we'd be here all night. Um, so I was going to read the names of the obituaries from 1989 when the book was set. Activists like Richard de Soisa, Rajini, Dr. Rajini Tiranagama, and Daya Patirana, who featured in this book. But if I'd done that, we would have all missed our trains. And um, I, I, I suspect I'm not traveling by train tonight. I don't uh, think you are, Shehan, no, because um, we've got about um, a couple of minutes before we finish. And I want can to be I, able to shall say, I wrap up very quickly? 
sorry. No, go on. I just, okay. Uh, and I was just like, what? Let the man speak, especially during the time when he's talking about the people who inspired him to write this book. The whole point of this was political and he was bringing in his political points about talking about the people that inspired him to write this book. And you kind of cut him off, which is nuts. Um, I thought that it was just very disrespectful to be honest um it's almost like saying like if say for example Percival Everett won and um he was talking about Emmett Till and um during that time you say okay sorry we just like can you go faster uh the amount of uproar that would happen at that point in time is absolutely nuts um I hope that they give Shehan the time to give his entire speech because I'm sorry this is what the Booker Prize should be like prioritizing which is the author's winning speech not random frivolous things so um i hope that they give shehan the time somewhere else to give his entire speech that he has obviously written out um i am so happy for the author um and yeah just please read this book is all i have to say so that is the end of this video i hope that you have enjoyed this book a series of mine <laughs> um i hope that you watch um my other videos as well as please read this book more importantly honestly god please that's all i really want for you to do um and yeah thanks so much for watching uh subscribe like all of that sort of stuff and i will see you very very soon in another video bye